Hello everybody, well I've made it to Kukubri and it, it's been very, very hard. The, the changeover hasn't been great, so I'm slowly putting everything together. Um, I've just got my bookshelf up and running. and There are some of my artworks there, um, the flowers which I regard as important. And I guess in the coming Instagrams, I, I will try and explain why. But I thought I would digress for a moment and do something I'm not used to doing um, just because I can. <clears throat> and this is a song, or, or a phrase of a song. I'm not really allowed to do any more than that. Can I sing? I, I don't know. Let's see. I'm just a daydreamer, a walking in the rain, chasing after rainbows I may never meet again. A life is so, so beautiful to live it all alone. I'm just a daydreamer. And who sang that? Well, we all know it was David Cassidy. I don't know the background to that song. <clears throat> I hope I did it justice. I'm not very sure. Um, why did I sing it? Because probably I am a daydreamer c coming to Kukubri, which is the place of artists. It's called the artist town. Um, in the lockdown, I started to think about what would you regret if you died of COVID? Hope I don't. And it would be that I didn't fulfil my potential as a visual artist. And I thought, well, you better go and do that. And coincidentally, before the lockdown, I'd applied for a removal um, to another area um, regarding my housing. Some people will not know this, but because of the difficulty of trying to fund um, Great Getaway, which is a film about Bonnie Prince Charlie, um, I ended up temporarily in Glasgow homeless. Yeah, I did. And this resulted in me being uh, eventually housed by a company called the Wheatley Group and um, I kind of was upset about that as you could imagine but they housed me and I'm very very grateful. So I explained the social situation of my mother uh, prior to lockdown where she had contracted sepsis and I said I think I have to go to what was my father's old region, um, Dumfries and Galloway, where my mother lives because she's 93 and she's become very unwell and my brother is her, her carer. Um, so I really would like to make that move. In the end, in their wisdom, they decided to move me um last month which wasn't really at the end of the lockdown and I went okay I'll give it a try so I'm here now um, I've started to unpack the boxes this has kind of been delayed by a condition in my feet where I either got bitten by a spider or um, thorns from little bushy things that ended up in my feet accidentally I don't know anyway, so I've been taking my time on that. But in terms of my future, I, I hope I continue with Palm Tree making films or trying to develop them. I hope so. Not sure. If not, well, mm, let's see what they are saying about my move, which probably gives them a little bit of insecurity. Um, it is a childhood dream. But I would also like to continue as a filmmaker. I've written a script about the environmentalist filmmaker Jenny Gilbertson, who was Scottish, and she filmed in Newts as well as the Gaelic, which is my roots, by the way. 
Although my father ended up in Dumfries and Galloway, he came from Caithness and his great grandfather was Robert Sutherland who lived in Caithness, so I'm very much a Caithness Sutherland. And um, mm, what else do I want to do? I'd like to write a book about my roots and my situation um, called Another Sutherland, where I'm, I'm a filmmaker, but I never really accessed any of the, the Sutherland um, scenario, which was in Canada. Although it turns out, uh, according to fact, at least genealogists, that I'm connected with him. I, I didn't know that at all. And am I speaking out of turn? I don't know what the Creative Artists Agency think of me. And I'm not really concerned about that. They, they, they find, they, they don't really know what to do with me. Um, I know where I'm from and who I'm from. Sad they don't, but that, I, I guess that is a whole thing that I would like to speak about when I'm ready to, okay. And um, at the moment tonight, I wanted to speak about my art and, and my flowers back there and I can't get it in frame uh, there's flowers that I made um, and I put them on canvas maybe I should stand up and, and, and get them because they relate to the thing I'm going to say about the importance of flowers in film in, in, in art and a quote from Charles Rennie McIntosh so this this is um, I'm proud of this I put it on uh, one inch canvas and it really is me saying another side to my personality is that I'm an artist um, and I got the highest mark in Scotland for art um, in 1978 and I was told by my teachers I should go to art college and for various different reasons I didn't do that um, and I should have. Um, and I ended up uh, doing a history and politics degree, um, which is an, another story. But I like to read The Importance of Flowers um, by Charles Rennie McIntosh, um, which is quoted from the art site Duo, um, which is the site of 78 Dern Gate in Northampton which is the only house in England that Charles Rennie Mackintosh designed. But to me, the importance of flowers, and I'm painting flowers, I'm hoping to do some bluebells, which to me is the flower of Kukubri. And the reason for that is because of the artist Hornell, international artist Hornell, who lived here, and his museum is about less than 100 yards from my house. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I want to quote the importance of flowers to artists and what they symbolise. In a lecture in 1902, Macintosh um, said, Art is the flower. Life is the green leaf. Let every artist strive to make his flower a beautiful living thing, something that will convince the world that there may be, there are things more precious, more beautiful, more lasting than life itself. You must offer real, living, beautifully colourful flowers, flowers that grow from but above the green leaf. Flowers that are not dead, are not dying, not artificial, real flowers springing from your soul, not even cut flowers. You must offer the flowers of the art that is in you, the symbols of all that is noble and beautiful and inspiring. Flowers that will often change of colourless leaf into an established 
and thoughtful thing. And that's from Jewel Northampton. And Jewel means in Gaelic leaf. And that's from the website of the same name, Jewel. D U I L L E dot com. They're an artist collective. Um, and they are the Museum of 78 Derngate of Charles Rainey Mackintosh in England. And in deference to Charles Rainey Mackintosh, I painted pink flowers, which are the Scottish dog rose, and I put them on canvas and I signed it as a finished artwork. And this is it. And I, I'm actually proud of it because to me, this is my homage to Charles Rennie Mackintosh and his pink flowers. And if you study Charles Rennie Mackintosh, you will see the reasons why I painted it. Okay, that's me tonight and I hope you were inspired by what I had to say. Thank you for listening and bye for now.